What do you think, Beppo? You think he's gonna do it? You think he's gonna be an emperor? That's what I'm hoping for, but if he's not, it might be a meme. It's finally here, the last chapter before the big one month break of One Piece, 1053, titled The New Emperors. But what you're about to see is my reaction to it. If you ever want to catch me live, check me out on twitch.tv slash Traffy for live reactions and gaming content. Also on Twitter and Instagram for more One Piece gaming cosplay art content where you can see things like me challenging my noob friends to One Piece trivia that they probably don't know. Let me know all your thoughts and reactions to this because there were some big reveals here and I want to know what you're thinking. Like the video if you enjoy it and subscribe if you enjoy One Piece because we have a lot of One Piece content here to look at. Regarding that, stick around to the end of the video for a bit of an announcement or two. But now, let's go into the chapter. <laughs> I'm scared to read it, but I want to know what happens. I want to know what happens so bad. Again, I haven't been spoiled once, not at all. I just, I just see the title. That's all I know. So I don't know how hype this is going to be. I feel like I'm really hyping it up, and then if it's not as hype as I think it's going to be, it's going to be a letdown, so I'm just going to... It's, gonna be, it's a calm chapter, that's what it's gonna be. It's gonna be a calm send-off, a nice little festival with the Wano, maybe some emperors, that's what it's gonna be. But we start off with this lovely cover with Luffy and Uta on there. So that's exciting. Some advertisements for the movie film Red. And I assume maybe some bands, I'm not sure what the, all that says, but that's okay. And the RPG Odyssey, lots of news coming out. Check out my video if you haven't heard all the One Piece news because I cover all big threes. Oh, I didn't scroll down to the- oh, One Piece Odyssey, wow! Okay, that's a really cool- oh shit, there's that dude. There's a dugong! There's dugongs in Odyssey! Oh, I gotta do it, I gotta play it now. But, oh, we're just going into it. We're just going into it. Okay, this- now, yep, no, no cover page here, no cover page here. We're gonna dive right into it. Chapter 1053. The new emperors. We're gonna see. We're gonna see if our boys got it. We're gonna see. Ah! So we're going back to Marie <laughs> This is Okay, I really need to calm down. This is a good, good calm soundtrack, sure. What is the meaning of this photo? All shook up. We never approved it. I thought we told you to remove the D. Oh. What? what? No, no, sir. We weren't told about that. The photo was sent by CP Zero's. Is that his name? I'm not gonna try and pronounce that. Just gonna get Gu. Guernessa? Guernessa? His name. That guy's name. I assume that's the guy with the mask who escaped. Reprint that the world cannot be permitted to see this. Why are they talking about the D? What is that? I'm trying to make out the tiny little thing. I'm, is that his hair? Is it a picture of Luffy in Gear 5th? That's crazy. We've been trying to contact the printers, but I'm afraid it's no use. Then cease distribution immediately, and there's big news! There he is! <laughs> what a mystifying appearance! Alright, people, it's up to us to spread this around the world. Okay, so is it gonna be Joy Boy? A big Joy Boy bombshell? The Cypher Pole's transmission from Wano broke off right after they spotted Big Mom's ship. The gears of the world won't stop turning. I won't let their propaganda slide when the real story is this thrilling. <laughs> we love it. It's- oh! Oh it is! Oh I got a glimpse of it! <gasps> oh my god! No way! Oh my god are there bounties? I didn't see the bounties yet. It's like a live show. I can't get enough. The bombshell. Oh, this is the narrator. The bombshell news of the defeat of the emperors, Big Mom and Kaido, spread very rapidly. Uh, rapidly spread very rapidly around the world. The three captains responsible for ending their decades of dominion were all issued an extraordinary bounty by the government. <gasps> Whoa! All three of them? Ah! Oh my god! Three billion! Monkey D. Luffy, Eustace Captain Kid, and Trafalgar Law! 
are now worth three billion berry a piece. Damn. Oh my, wow, I was not expecting Luffy to have the same bounty as all three of them, and they all have sick ass fucking pictures. Monkey D, Luffy. What, were they talking about Luffy's middle initial when they were saying, like, get rid of the D? It has to be something else, right? Because everyone already knows. So is there something else? Is there something else? Or is that it? Three billion? We're back in Udon Wano. Boss! Captain! That's amazing! Where did that oaf kid run off to? He had a funny look in his eye. Oh no! Oh, there's Beppo! God, there's so many Beppo appearances. That's amazing. Three billion? Damn, kid! What was your bounty? 500? 450? No, 550? Mm, 450? Kid, kid, kid. What an increase! I mean, I'm saying that like laws wasn't 500,000. 500 million. Where did that. Where did Kid go? Killer and the rest of his crew is still there. Gotta be to the flower capital. Fa fa fa. It's Kid we're talking about. There's only one thing on his mind. Let's follow him there. I heard there's a festival today. Perfect, let's celebrate. What is Kid going to the flower capital for? That's cool. Interesting. Looks like things are getting complicated. <laughs> and Beppo's like, whoa, Captain! <laughs> okay, where are we doing here? What is Kid... Is Kid going to see Luffy? There's only... There's gotta be to the... Why would Killer... That's really confusing, that's hanging me up. I, I hope they answer that. I hope we just don't see Kid again. Okay. Now moving on, we're making a buffet festival, right? Oh my god, three billion! Let's go! Okay, we shall start with a course of cloud ear mushroom and crown daisy soup. Okay, then a plate of... Oh, tofu. <laughs> Followed by a bowl of lotus roots. Well, <laughs> first Everything must be impeccable. These are not your run-of-the-mill patrons. Make sure everything is mashed and boiled properly. And triple check for poison. <laughs> That's fair. Now then, time to serve. I put everything I have into this menu. It is truly a full course meal fit for a shogun. Oh wow, that's crazy. Please enjoy. <laughs> Wait, why is only Jinbei there? Oh no! <laughs> it looks delicious. Thank you for all your effort. I'm afraid the others couldn't wait the full two hours. From the sounds of it, they're really going to town out there, aren't they? <laughs> Wait, did they all just skip the meal? Oh, they did. Oh, are we gonna get a Yamado confirmation, please? Or not, it's just one way or another. Everything's free tonight. Free? They've got shooting games and goldfish scooping. Hey, goldfish scooping, that's like a... Uh... What was that? Oh, that was Baron Matsu movie where there was goldfish scooping. <laughs> There's chocolate bananas! Yaki soba! Takoyaki! Oh, everyone's excited, Yamato! Oh my god, you're kidding me! Aaron, I know you're not watching this, but there is Yamato and Chopper eating cotton candy. No fucking shit. It's a fan art request that I was gonna draw for my friend, and he wants Yamato and Chopper eating cotton candy. And here we freaking are! Chopper and Yamato eating cotton candy. <laughs> Grilled squid and candy apples, cotton candy too! This is my first festival, it's amazing! Well, it's Yamato saying that. Um, probably all of them have won- well, no, festivals. I guess Yamato, because she's the only one she, she wouldn't have been able to partake in the festival every year. Woo, you go, Brooke! Oh, Brooke's playing! That's sick. Yeah, listen up. <laughs> this number, this next number was a favorite of Brother Odin. It's called Moon Princess. Oh, oh, it's Hiyori! Princess Hiyori! <laughs> They've got fans, and they're fans. Ooh, and Robin, we particularly- Oh, there it is! You can see it, you can see it in the background, the poneglyph. That's where they were. Oh man, wait, oh, so is Kid going after the Poneglyph? Maybe, who knows. You like them, Nico Robin? Tengu-san. How do you know my name? You're looking at my personal collection. 
They're my majestic Kokeshi dolls. Cute, aren't they? Is this gonna be revealed that this is actually his father? Is this Momo's grandpapa? Not really. Huh? <laughs> Why would your collection be down here? This was originally... This was originally something of a secret hobby room for me. However, I ended up imprisoned here, down here for a number of years. <gasps> oh my god, it is! You are kidding me! Really? I ended up imprisoned down here for a number of years. Imprisoned? I thought you were a swordsmith. Who exactly are you? I took to smithing because I had a talent for it, but it was also, it was always just a hobby. Governing is such weary work after all. Mm -hmm. <gasps> what? I am Kazuki Suku Sukiyagi, the father of Kazuki Odin. That is crazy. It was called, but that is fucking crazy. Former Shogun of Wano. Hey, Mo let meet your. Have they even met? Have you ever met your grandson, Momo? Does Momo-chan know about this? He does not, and I do not intend to tell him. I would not be surprised if some of his retainers have deduced my identity, but how could I possibly show my face now? I am the one who allowed Orochi to come to power. Oh. I was barely able to escape this room. By the time I had, Odin was already dead, and Wano had changed. I contemplated committing seppuku here, there, and then Tenkusan. It should be somewhere in this country. <gasps> the ancient weapon, Bluton! Oh, huh? <laughs> she just cuts him off. He's like, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. You're the former shogun, then you should know this shit. He's like, I don't, she don't, she don't care about everything else. The angel weapon Pluton? At least that's what the Poneglyph said in Alabasta. Indeed, it is here. Former prisoner of mine, Udon. Oh! <gasps> oh, it's Green Bull! Oh no! Wait! Oh! Ah! Oh! <laughs> wait, whoa! Ooh, king! <gasps> king! Queen! It's Babanuki! Oh no! They're not going out like this, are they? Ah! Green Bull, what are you doing? King Sun, Queen Sun. Hey, a post-diet physique doesn't suit me here. Oh shit! Yeah, he is. <gasps> it's a reveal. It's a reveal. Ooh. Give it a rest already. At my rank, I'd lose face if I let a few commanders like you get the best of me. Oh shit. Yeah, this guy goes hard. Ooh, and he's interesting. So he's got vine plant powers. Uh-huh. But they can... They can... <laughs> they can... <laughs> I can't say this without being... <laughs> they can suck them dry! <laughs> they can just... They can just dehydrate you. Give it a rest already. The Navy doesn't have manpower to waste on the mess you've left us. Not that I expected much of you, bozos. Glug glug. And he's using water to like re like replenish himself. Buddha 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 buddha. Ooh, a face! <laughs> a face! How excited we get of faces! Click. Hello. This is yeah. I'm in Wano. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. The booze wasn't that special. You should have let it age longer. <laughs> but but oh, I see. That was a. I read that in the wrong order. But I see. Bring a warship over. Huh? <laughs> Ryoku, don't tell Sakazuki-san what I'm up to. Got it. See ya. Click. <laughs> what? Navy headquarters, Admiral. Aramaki. Oh, that's his name? Aramaki? Oh, he has a sword and he's got like... He looks pretty freaking sick. Bring a warship over. No, no, no. <laughs> no. I've always dug his style. No half measures. I'm itching to get his approval. 
Sakazuki. Uh-oh. He's not a good guy. <laughs> oh no. If he looks up to Sakazuki, mm -mm, this, is, this isn't another Fujitora. As much as he was hanging out with him. I don't think this is gonna be a good guy. <laughs> I can see it now. He's sure to give me an attaboy if I bring him this brat's head. Rahaha. Oh boy, he's after Luffy. I wonder. What a surprise. What is three billion berry bounty? Crazy. It's doubled. Doubled for Luffy. So much for the rest. <laughs> Flower capital. Oh man, how much more do we have? Oh my god, it is. <laughs> I saw a kid. I saw. Oh my god. One more time from the top. To the pirate. To the ninja pirate mink samurai alliance. Who's that? To the retainers. Re Yakuza and the rest of Wano. Keep going. Way to go. You all fought great. And no one knows. Oh, he's back in a little kimono. A different one. That one looks cool. We'll leave the toasting to you. Yeah, you're our chief rallier. Don't tell anybody about in Wano about me. Oh, there he is in Yamada's arms. But why? Because I don't want to be a hero. Oh, straw hat. <laughs> if I crush you here. Oh, no. They've been lit! <laughs> he wraps his arms around him. <laughs> if I crush you here... <laughs> Why is Kid... <laughs> oh, cause he see... Okay, well that's... <laughs> Alright, here's to all the feasts to come. <laughs> here we go! <laughs> Luffy looks so weird from far away. I don't know if it's just quickly drawn or what, <laughs> but it looks funny. <laughs> here we go! And he wraps his hand like, yeah, Kid! Cheers! <laughs> Let's drink and party till dawn. Oh my god, kid, that's so funny. Kid, you were bested by a hug. My boy, you were bested by a hug. Is that what did you in? You were overpowered by Joy Boy because he hugged you? <laughs> and he's just like, okay, <laughs> I guess I'm up. <laughs> Let's drink and party till dawn. Aw. Damn, everyone's cheering. Aw, oh, did I just see? <laughs> Oh boy, did I just see a shank's head? <laughs> did I just... Okay, <laughs> okay, we're, we're popping through this one. There's Sanji, Nami, everyone, Frankie, Kiku, Carrot, Nekamamushi, everyone. Pirates sure are rowdy. This is the biggest and wildest festival I've ever seen. Everyone's so happy. Oh, and there's Kinemon, I don't know. Who he's sitting next to. Is he? No. Is that Osuru? I don't think we'll get an answer because. <gasps> ah! Ah! Okay, I don't know what's happening over there, but I want to see the panels before it. Beppo, the heart pirates, the kid pirates. I want nothing to do with this crap. See here? I came to kill you. I don't know what's going on, on the outside, but. <laughs> oh no! They've. Wait. <laughs> wait. <laughs> wait. <laughs> wait. <laughs> no. <laughs> I thought. Oh. <laughs> oh, he's got the stupid eyes. Oh. I came. See here, I came to kill you. I don't really know what's going on on the outside, but. They've announced the names of the new four emperors. <laughs> <I'm crying. laughs> no. <laughs> Why? <laughs> They're really going whole hog on the mu music and festivities. Oh, he's getting close. <laughs> Well, we marines aren't in such a good mood, especially since the rest of the world is a real mess now. And that's the end <laughs> of the chapter. <laughs> that's 
why Kid went to get Luffy because he was not an emperor. <laughs> but Luffy is. So Kid's like, wait a minute. I just defeated an emperor with another emperor to get another emperor, and now that one's an emperor, and I still have to defeat a third emperor? <laughs> I'm still an emperor? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Bucky Bucky! The bombastic clown! Is it because of what the Marines did? The Marines are out to get Buggy. And so he must have like gotten away. And because he's because he was a warlord, so they didn't make a big deal out of him being uh, Shanks' friend and uh, being on Gold Roger's crew, but now that he's not <laughs> <laughs> Is that his hand? He's got a Luffy pose. The up influence. That's the big key here. Influence trumps all <laughs> because it's only about what the world perceives you or how big Morgan's perceives you. <laughs> What's Buggy's bounty? Someone freaking people have called this. People have said that it's gonna be Buggy. And I'm like. What has Buggy done? I mean, sure, I get it, he's Buggy. But fuck, they called it, they called it. So this was one of the two options that I would be okay with, is <laughs> he is working his way up. Buggy, calling it now. I'm sure people have already called this, but Buggy is somehow going to be involved in Laugh Tale at the peak of Laugh Tale, and he's gonna be crowned Pirate King before Luffy, calling it. He's going to be the one who's going to be crowned a pirate king <laughs> before Luffy can be. <laughs> oh my god, that's crazy with Luffy's transformation. But why did they freak out about his middle initial? Is it just the combination of Luffy's transformation being similar to Joy Boy? Called it volume 25? Let's see. Oh my god, you're right! That's fantastic! Yep, for all of you who don't know, there we are. Besides the goat, of course, there are, <laughs> are four emperors of the sea. But he has more backing connections. Yeah, no, I mean, from the world's perspective, Buggy, 100% has what it takes to be an emperor. 100%. It's just... <laughs> Could Shanks have talked to the world government? Buggy! <gasps> He's the man that Shanks went to Marijuana to talk about. I won't talk to you about a certain pirate. Buggy D. Clown. I know what you're thinking. He's not much to sneeze at. But don't underestimate him. <laughs> You need to take action now. <laughs> the government's like, Emperor, <laughs> done. He's the lurking legend. <laughs> yes. Greenville's really intimidating. And Greenville was really sipping on it to see you all fought rising too. Yes. I mean, 100% he's awakened. So just, he's like Doflamingo, but worse. And I don't didn't know you could get worse. <laughs> well, our boy didn't quite go to emperor status, but. Three billion. That's interesting that they, like, especially if Luffy is the only emperor out of the three of them, why didn't Luffy get a bigger bounty? The world government is downplaying Luffy by making them equal. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Because, yeah, Luffy, power scaling and all, but Luffy's definitely stronger than them, and he's an emperor, unlike the other two. Oh my god, I can't imagine Zoro's bounty and Sanji's. But especially Zoro's, I wonder if they're gonna have the same bounty from now on because they made such a big deal that Sanji has a bigger bounty than Zoro. I wonder if, as Yonko commanders, they're gonna just keep having the same bounty no matter what happens. <laughs> I do! I feel bad for King and Queen! I wonder if he drinks their blood. <gasps> or just their moisture, probably just their moisture. It's like a mix between, oh my god, it's the perfect mix between Crocodile and Doflamingo, the two best villains in the series. This guy, this guy is gonna be something. He's swole. And he looks up to Sakazuki. Even worse. Even worse, he looks up to Sakazuki. Oh man, imagine if we got Dofi 
in this chapter, that would have been amazing. Can Green Bull do anything? Walking up on Luffy's party? Yes. <laughs> I think he can. If he's sneaky about it, and he just like straight up impales Luffy with no one knowing, that would definitely weaken the biggest fighter. <laughs> sure. I don't think he's necessarily stronger than two Emperor commanders because both King and Queen were defeated, so they were already pretty wiped out and with a sneak attack like his devil fruit seems to imply is his specialty, I think they could be easily defeated by him. But both of them full power standing off against each other, I don't know if the things would have went the same. So I would hesitate to say that Green Bull is super powerful. However, his specialty, if that is his specialty to do sneak attacks and kind of like, you know, imagine if he's awakened, he can just create vines with him not even being near. He could just make vines, wrap up Luffy, and fucking suck him into the ground or something. Gone! Then he leaves! He leaves Wano! <laughs> so yes, Green Bull is 100% a threat. Um, just depends on how he goes about it. I'm scared to know what happens to the three captains. Like, are they gonna stay together? Is, you know, are they all gonna part ways? Because I don't know if I can handle that. Because what, what, I mean, they're not all gonna go to Laugh Tail. That would be silly. Understandably. Oh, uh, I don't see them all going to laugh to hell, but I don't know if I can handle Law not being a main character in an arc. I can't handle that. Like, he wants to find the true history, right? So he needs to stick with Robin, and they need to find out the true history together. I wonder why he's not with Robin right now, because maybe he goes, maybe that's where he goes. Oh man, it's the thing with Robin later. I knew she was up to something sick, and she was. I love Robin standing up to leaders of the countries and being like, hey, no, 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 I know what the hell you're up to. You know this information. You need to tell me. I love it. She does it to like in Alabasta, Fishman Island, here. Did you see Sabo? I did, I did after chat told me. I didn't see it the first time through, but I did see him. So Sabo might be like a savior of the town, of the country. Maybe it was like a war-torn country and that's just what it was? So it might be a memorial, yeah, I mean with all the information given out to the world of Sabo being dead, it could be like, hey, he saved this country, he was a savior, let's put a big old picture up there of him. I don't know, but it, like the, the place is very run down, I don't know what country that is, but it's interesting. Oh man, three billion berry bounties. It is really satisfying to see the huge, huge turnout of festivities and food and just joy in the flower capital. And then this guy, he's got a poneglyph right in the back. Is it a red one though? Is it a red one? So it's really good foreshadowing, like it wasn't in your face and you weren't entirely sure, like not many people picked up on it. And I, I honestly didn't think that it was gonna be the reveal. I thought it would make sense in a way, but like he really, I don't know. I mean, I guess there's nothing he really could have done. If he outed himself, then he would have just been killed. So there was really no choice but to wait 20 years. I'm surprised Orochi didn't just kill him though. Like what did, what purpose did he serve alive? <gasps> oh my God, you're right. He can read and teach Poneglyphs. <gasps> Cause Odin knew it and it was cut off by Momo. But he said he's not gonna tell him? Bro, you have more than just your pride on the line. You need to teach Momo the, the, the Poneglyphs. Robin's got elsewhere to go. She can't teach the man a new a new language. I'm sure maybe he'll come around. Cause what the hell? What the hell was this reveal for? If not, he's gotta play a part now. <laughs> and I just love how this guy's like, I was barely able to escape, but by the time I did, Odin was already dead. Wano has changed. I contemplated killing myself right then and there. And she was like, Tengu-san, there's an ancient weapon here. <laughs> it's in this country. Pluton. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Where the hell is Pluton? Hold on. <laughs> Robin just doesn't give a shit. It's priorities, man. Oh, I didn't see that former prisoner mine, Udon. And you mentioned how his power is <laughs> kickstarting Wano's recovery. That's crazy. Look at all the flourishing trees. Like, that's a big factory. That's Udon's prison, which was like a huge stack of factories and 
an ugly eyesore on the, the skyline. But now there's big trees, there's so much flora. That is crazy, that's really, that's nice, that's good, but I'm still terrified of him. Man, and he defeats King, but he's too hot to die. <laughs> These images are really settling in now. The fact that in his wake, he is just leaving skewered beast pirates strung up. <laughs> That's a little unsettling. Poor Babanuki, he did so much. He tried so hard. All to end up a deflated ball sack. I am very interested to know what that fight is gonna look like or if it's gonna be a fight at all. It's gonna be a while. <laughs> it's gonna be a while before we find out anything. But damn, this shit is heating up. Wano is ended, but it is not slowing down. Like, shit after shit. The in-between arcs are just so well done. All the information, all the characters. And we see everyone. Do we see all the Straw Hats? We can see Zoro looking great. All of them are in nice kimonos. Looking cute. And then I guess we get the reveal that Suru is alive too. And I really like that reveal. How it's just kind of like quiet. A small little panel, just the two of them. Like no words, no face reveal. They're just right there. Damn! It almost makes, almost makes Kinemon's not death worth it. Almost. I don't think it was that important though. But they've announced the names of the new four emperors. What? So the only reveal here is that it's fucking Buggy! <laughs> it's only Buggy! The rest have stayed the same! Imagine, imagine losing two emperors, Big Mom and Kaido. The, the power, the territory, the name of Big Mom and Kaido combined to replace that. <laughs> with Buggy. Just, just think about it. What the hell is happening? Can't believe it. Buggy. Our boy isn't one, but Buggy is. Which honestly, you know, can't be that mad. And then not to mention, the goat. <laughs> and the goat. Of One Piece Volume 25. Calling out all four emperors. Go to go to go to. Jaya. Jaya is important. I am excited to see what everyone else has to say about this chapter and the reveals. So, you know, let me know your thoughts. But yeah, thanks everyone for watching and stay tuned. I will um, continue to stream games um, and maybe some One Piece streams. The whole, you know, YouTube might be on a little bit of a hiatus too. Just a little foreshadowing until we get One Piece back. I know there's the anime and everything, but we might just take a break and come back full swing. I think this is a good timing. Hey, but there's a second reveal! I'm getting a puppy! Ah. I'm getting a puppy, so it's kind of perfect timing we're getting her next week, and my hands are gonna be full with that, and working, and everything, so... This break might be perfectly timed, that we might just take a break from everything, and then come back in a month when One Piece is back full swing. So thanks everyone again for watching and stopping by. Hope you guys enjoyed this chapter as much as I did and I hope you guys get through this month long break. We're in this together and I'm very excited to see where it goes. I'm very interested to see Reverie information. There's still a lot of stuff that we might get in this mini, maybe there's a mini arc between this, I, I don't know, I don't know, but we're gonna have to wait to find out. But everyone, I hope you have a good night, day, evening, morning, wherever you are. And this is Beppo signing out. Bye! Pshoo!